Dice Cartoon. For those who watch my cartoons for some months now, you may wonder what works of animation inspire my shorts. Disney movies? Pixar films? Anything from DreamWorks? To be honest, I prefer watching cartoons on TV over feature length animated films. Now, you may be wondering, what is my favorite channel growing up? Nickelodeon? Disney Channel? Cartoon Network? Discovery Kids? Although I enjoyed Nickelodeon Cartoon Network as a child, my favorite channel growing up is the following. One Network will show you the power of really big type. Destroy them! We will use black bars on the top and bottom to make it feel like a really big preview. Yeah. At Nicktoons Network, we've got a really big booming voice. <laughs> and we're not afraid to use it. We'll use it to say hit show. You're a hero. Fire! To say the hottest premieres. <laughs> and to say that we've got the coolest new stuff from all around the universe. Mankind ends now! This is it, the really big finish. It ain't over yet. Clips will get faster, leading up to the really big finale. <laughs> Nicktoons Network, the animation capital of the world. Don't forget the really big cliffhanger. Thank you. The end. Nicktoons Network, an awesome but obscure channel. I'm pretty sure that a lot of people never heard of this back in 2005. Anyway, this channel is obviously not turned up to no voting. The difference is that Nicktoons Network only airs cartoons. No live action sitcoms were ever broadcast. Sorry, Ned, Zoe, and the characters from other sitcoms at the time. Does anybody remember just Jordan? Okay, never mind. Moving on. But the special thing about this channel, in my opinion, was the inclusion of exclusive shows and shorts. I will cover as much of these shows as I can, but first, let me tell you how I was introduced to this channel. It all began sometime in 2004. I was 6 years old at the time, visiting my grandparents one Sunday afternoon. I noticed one of my cousins watching a series that I would later identify as Marco's Mark Life. This cousin is 8 years older than me and grew up in the 1990s. While watching, I noticed something different about the channel's logo. This logo was the iconic Nickelodeon flat, but the colors was white with blue text that spelled Nick text instead of the usual orange with white text that spelled Nick. Afterwards, I knew this was a completely different channel. After a few more visits in my grandparents' house, Nick text became one of the channels I regularly watch. Unfortunately, I run reruns of Nickelodeon's recent show over the 90s Nick text due to my lack of familiarity with some of Nick's older IPs. A year later, the channel was branded itself as Nicktoons Network. Just to get things clear, this is not a retrospective of the channel as a whole. I'm just telling stories from my personal experiences with the network. Anyway, every exclusive show that is good is the ones on the stand with Nickelodeon. But they are pretty decent, with one exception. I'm trying to start with Yak and Yak since this was the first show I watched. This series follows the life of Yakety, a somewhat dim witted Yak who scores a mark in the King 4 star Goku. Each episode follows Yakety and his friend Theo, a kid that has a pineapple for a head. I am not making this up. As they perform different tasks to hang on the fly. This is a very basic show. I find the characters in the okay, but it suffers from weak humor. But I still like it nonetheless. Kappa Mikey. You may be familiar with this one because it was one of the most popular shows on the network. It was popular enough for Stephen Nickelodeon to air a few episodes. Anyway, this show is a comedy about an American actor named Mikey Simon getting into weird situations with his co-workers. I really enjoy the series' art direction. It makes its characters of folk anime and wrestling animation styles into one series. The show is quite hilarious if you're into this brand of humor. I recommend watching this. The Secret Show. This is another simple show, but I consider it as one of my favorite shows on the network next to Captain Mikey. 
Each episode centers around two agents named Victor and Nita as they go on some real missions. This show has so many decent jokes and plots, another solid series worth checking out. Although I mentioned that most of Nick Tunes' exclusive programming were decent at best, only one show blew my expectation. That show is... Skyland. Now, I did not watch this show growing up because my parents wouldn't allow me to watch this. I watched this back in 2014 and I consider it to be the best exclusive on the network. The writing and pacing of the show is great. The art style and visuals are wonderful. The scenery of every floating island is beautiful. But the best part of the show is the atmospheric soundtrack, which ranges from a French style and ambient music to orchestrated themes depending on the scene. My only complaint I have with the show is its animation. This series is motion captured, and there are rare occurrences where some shots appear bad. I don't want to explain the story because it's too good in my opinion as well. If you ever had a chance to watch this, do it. I know I did not cover every single show in this video for three reasons. One, I wanted to keep this video as brief as possible. Two, I don't have memories for every show. And three, quite a few shows originally aired on regular Nickelodeon before it aired on Nicktoons. Since 2009, the channel went back to concept Nicktoons and is a shadow of what it was for. The only good thing I can say about this channel is that more casual viewers know about its existence. I don't find the channel in this current programming bad. I actually find myself watching the ones of the Friday Out Counters, Jimmy Neutron, SpongeBob, and TV Ninja Turtles, the recent show and one of our and our ground broadcasting. Anyway, I hope to touch on other channels in the future. Cards that work and they will have their own episodes. But this channel will be safe for an episode where I tell you my memories and opinions on Disney as a whole. First you step down. With all that said, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're interested in my content. I'll see you guys next time. Can I?